Hey y'all, got some videos we're gonna be making here. I got some neat stuff. I got uh, Verizon Wireless store the other day. Went, uh, they moved and they took all the stuff out and I got the contract. So we got some, uh, I had some neon. This is the clear one. So it's just gonna glow the real ne neon color of the gas. Uh, you know, well, the other ones are if that glow that are all different colors are coated on the inside with some kind of phosphor coating. So this is a nice one. That's about a five five footer there. We've been working in the shop, uh, getting some stuff set up, building some shelves, and doing all kinds of stuff with some of my big speakers and crap. And I've got to start wiring it. And anyway, working on the excavator. It's got to have a new switch put in it. I got to get one ordered. Ignition switch and uh, recycling some metal. And we also got a couple of uh, these uh, neon signs. And I took the power supplies off of them. They're all busted except for a couple of the tubes. That was kind of weird. And I got a couple of these guys, you know, like I said. And uh, awesome. Uh, this is going to be an awesome bench power supply here. I don't know what it came out of, but you can see that monster capacitor in there. It's like uh, up to 15 volts. Uh, it like, what does it say? Plus 15 volts, and then it's got seven volts unregulated, and then regulated, it's got minus five, 14 amp, and three plus, and that's 10 volts. So that's gonna make, oh, there's two of those caps in there. That's gonna make a nice power supply there. It's a big, big heat sink. Anyway, I was just doing some experiment, and I took one of these uh, power supplies off. This thing puts out about 10,000 volts, so I'm gonna be real careful here. I got it temporarily plugged into one of the shorter neons I got, and I thought maybe y'all would like to see if it works. The best thing in the world is these. Just got the same thing in there. There's a little neon, see that's lit. Best thing in the world. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. I don't wanna get my phone anywhere near it. In fact, let me set y'all down right here and you can take a look and see what happens as I plug it in. I have to be careful because I don't have the boots on this thing. Let's see if it works. These are not meant to go together. And I don't know the math behind how much gas is required for how much. I think this thing regulates itself because it's like five to 10,000 volts output. So let's see what happens. Sweet. So I got two of these tubes and I got three or four of those power supplies. And obviously it works. I don't know if you can really see that, but these are gonna make cool accents for the shop. I do have a couple of extra of those boots and the wire that is just regular silicone wire from like a car because it's high voltage for the, uh, what you call it, the damn, um, you know, the coil. So that's all it is, is like eight mil cable and I've just got it tied together. I do not want to touch that. But anyway, that's what we got. Been out recycling metal today and as you can see, it's been raining. We got all kinds of storms going on so I had to stop my metal recycling for a while. How cool is that? Anyway, it's a really cool color. I don't know if I can get you to see this or not, but I thought you might like to see that. It's one of the power supplies. It's even got a pull string on it. And I've got four of those and several of the tubes. And one of the tubes that was in this one here is still good. These are all broken on the outside, but this one on the inside here behind this X is good. So I'm gonna make a sign out of that from a shop. And then I've, like I said, four of those power supplies and I've got the big long tube up there and then Cool, cool, cool. Thought you might like to see that, guys. Back to work. Gotta make some money.